I know lots of you in year 10 and in year 12 are concerned already about the 2021 exams and you are rightly concerned because we are assuming that they are going to take place. Fingers crossed they take place and you get a chance to actually prove what you can do in exams and we're not going to be in the same situation where we have estimated grades again. Um, I really, really want you to take year 11, year 13 seriously because if we are in the same situation in 2021 that we are currently in, their teachers are going to be making the grades, um, estimated grades based off your classwork, your anti-topic tests, um, any book work that you've done and your mock results. So start revising now. I always say that and no one ever does but start revising now and use this time to really really work out how you revise best multiple choice questions courses i've got loads of those for you over on my website but the question i get asked a lot at the moment is are the 2021 grade boundaries going to be lowered because you're having to spend half a term a term teaching yourself GCSEs and A levels at home and you are going to start um, back at school at a disadvantage compared to other years and the answer is no but probably. Now I know that is really confusing I make it sound like I don't know what I'm talking about but it's all based on how grey boundaries are set which is an incredibly incredibly complicated process which I'm like 75% sure that I understand but I haven't made a video on it yet because I'm not like 100% sure that I understand it and I've spent a lot of time trying to understand this so first part of the answer no grey boundaries are not going to be lowered just because of this so I'm not going to say um, because you've had to teach yourself six weeks um, of content at home, we are automatically going to shift the grade boundaries downwards because exams have to cover the specification. So they are not going to leave the last topic in biology out of the exam because it will cover the whole specification. That is what exams do, they examine the specification. Not all schools teach stuff in the same order. Um, if you have one teacher who's a specialist in a particular area, they might decide to teach unit one, unit five, unit nine, then unit seven, then unit two. There is no requirement for schools to teach stuff in a spec order. So if the example was decided to leave the last unit out, well, some schools might have taught that bit first, and then that school will be disadvantaged, whereas that school would be advantaged. So it wouldn't be fair to schools to say, we're going to take a massive chunk of specification out, you don't have to teach that. There might be some schools who also teach kind of like biology in year 10, and then chemistry, and then physics. Or there might be some schools that teach all of um, maths in year 10, and then do statistics in year 11. So they are not going to take chunks out of the exam and not examine it. The exam will cover the whole specification. These exams also need to be comparable to other years. So they do need to examine everything so that it is fair to the students before you and the students after you. However, said that, grade boundaries are probably going to be lower because you've had this period of teaching yourself at home. Now, grade boundaries are not set until after all of the exams have been marked and then it is an incredibly complicated process with lots and lots of different data points but they want to make sure that a grade 4 in 2021 is the same as a grade 4 in 2020 and in 2022 i'm really hoping there are going to be exams in 2022 but to make these things comparable they need to make they need to adjust things up and down a bit which is why grade boundaries are always changing now because there are going to be gaps in your schooling because some people are going to be better able to to work at home they're going to have a quiet home environment they're going to have online tutors and some people are going to have a chaotic home environment where they're having to care for a lot of people by themselves because of this difference there are going to be students there are going to be a large number of students who do not do as well in this exam as they would have otherwise and because there are going to be such a large number of students who do not do as well the grade boundaries are going to shift lower so if the whole cohort if everyone who sits 
GCSE maths gets lower grades than they would have done, or gets lower marks, sorry, lower marks than they would have done if their schooling hadn't been interrupted. Because of that, the grade boundaries will be shifted lower to compensate for it. So I know there is a very subtle distinction here, but the answer is no. They're not automatically going to shift grade boundaries lower because your schooling has been interrupted. But as a consequence of your schooling being interrupted, chances are everyone is going to do a little bit worse than they would have done. And because of that, the grade boundaries are going to be probably lower. Um, that is really confusing, um, but that is the best way that I can think of to explain it. So I'm sorry guys, um, the answer is no, not automatically, but probably. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.